So you, you, you know the business for a while. The original idea uh, remains the focus for the company, which is effectively advertising is going to run in a lot more places in the future than it has in the past. And advertisers care for a lot of different reasons about the nature and quality of the content that they're running in and, and the content creators that they're supporting. So when we first started, it was with a focus on YouTube where there was a lot of data and there was a lot of ad opportunities across hundreds of millions of videos. Uh, we actually started not with brand safety or suitability, but with quality. Um, understanding that advertisers would try to compare the content that's on a platform like YouTube with content that's on television. We started by looking at quality. We came up with uh, a metric that describes that, the slate score. Uh, we continue to have the slate score. But we also added a lot of measures of brand safety and suitability, subject matter expertise, and really started to get a sense that content, really context, was about more than an individual asset. It really takes into account a few things. It takes into account the asset itself, right? The, the video or the, the article or the audio. It takes into account, it has to take into account the creator. And we talk more about that. The creator is super important. And then it also takes into account the way that the content is being engaged with, right? Is it in a news feed? Is it a video? Is it a podcast? Is it something that somebody is likely to consume on mobile? And taken all together, that's how we think, you know, true context should be measured. And that's really our focus. It's been our focus for, from the beginning, but we've expanded from YouTube to Facebook, to Twitter, to TikTok. And our goal is to measure all ad supported content in a very similar way so that advertisers can make decisions about where they want to be and where they don't want to be amongst all the other things that they need to think about when targeting digital media. When you speak to the buy side and you do every day, um, what, how has their approach or expectation around contextual marketing changed? And where do you think it's going in terms of their expectations? The content side of the equation has become a lot more important in the last few years. Certainly three, four years ago, people were primarily thinking about identifying the user that they wanted to get in front of. Content became more important as the opportunity to individually target users became under threat with the deprecation cookies and unique identifiers and phones. And at the same time, I think last year with COVID, Black Lives Matter happened, a lot of fake news happened. Um, it was a scary time. And I think that advertisers realized that they need to be more thoughtful about the, the content that they're supporting. And, and along the way, in the past few years, we've also been able to, able to prove out that consumers are much more likely to pay attention to ads that are within content that's relevant to them. And so those three things have become more a part of the conversation in the last few years. And I think that taking together the, the content that your ad is running in has become a sort of corporate social responsibility, right? The advertisers can't just let algorithms determine where they're going to run. Um, and they need to take control. And I think that's the biggest change, the sort of change on the media planning side and buying side is they realize that they need to be involved in the decision about where their ads are running, what content they're supporting. And that takes work and it takes a, a, both a, an analytical approach to what kind of content performs best for my brand. It takes consideration about what sort of content do I want to support? What sort of creators do I want to see getting my ad dollars? Um, and, it, and it takes work because of the scale, right? On, on YouTube alone, there's hundreds of millions of videos. You know, take that and extend it across other platforms, across other types of content, not just video. Uh, what advertisers want, and I think what they're trying to do over the next couple of years is come up with a consistent model that works for them and for their brands. Um, and that's really where we get involved. Mike, finally, I just wanted to ask, uh, you know, your thoughts as an entrepreneur, as an innovator, you know, sort of, um, developing open slate, changing, you know, how you've adapted and sort of what your, what your path is, uh, you know, what we can expect in terms of a roadmap for the company. So it took a few years to develop our technology, uh, primarily with focus on YouTube. And then when we decided we needed to extend that to other platforms, we did a lot of work to make sure that our, our, our way of measuring content was extendable and scalable to all ad supported content. So today, We've gone from YouTube, Facebook, TikTok. We just announced a relationship with Twitter. Um, in the future, in the near future, we'll be getting into feed-based environments. We'll be getting into non-video. We'll be getting into non-platform distributed video. And ultimately, our goal is to measure all ad-supported content with the same set of metrics.
what I'd say about about you know developing a business like ours is that it takes time and it takes passion. And and the thing that I'm most proud of is having attracted a team of people that share the vision that I kind of started with eight or ten years ago, and they've taken it to another level and they've taken it out into the future. I'd say that when we launched Open Slate six seven years ago, it was probably too soon. Content wasn't in focus, uh, but we you know, remains very strong about the idea that it will be over time. And uh, eventually, you know, that that time came and it's it's coming in waves and I think it's getting bigger and more important over time. But it takes time to to get to the to the right place and the right time in the market. Um, this is the fun part. This is the part where I think we get to change the world.